In today's video, we'll learn how to create this Apple Pro Vision effect in Filmora. In the Stock Media tab, search for Apple Vision Pro. I'm using this clip, but you can select any video clip to your liking. This second clip you can also find on Pexel.com. Once both clips are added on layer one, now add Apple application PNG icon on the above one. Change their scale to 10. Do this for all application icons. Now select all the application icon images and place them one layer above and keep layer two empty for now. Now drag and drop this grid PNG image onto layer two. As a position reference for all the application's arrangements, select the grid image and let's make it scale 50 and position Y negative 43. Now select each icon and arrange them like how I'm arranging them here. After that's done, delete the reference grid image, select all the image icons and extend it to fit the clip length. Again, select them, right click and click Create Compound Clip. Shortcut key Alt plus G. I'm naming it to Apple Application. Now select layer one, the second clip, and go to the AI tool. Click motion tracking. Hide layer two and position the tracking point and click to start motion track. Once that's done, click OK. Select the layer two clip and place it onto layer three. Now go into stock media, then the library, then solid color, and drag and drop the green color. Click on snapshot and save it to your PC. After that, you can delete both layers and drag and drop that snapshot onto layer two. Extend it to fit the full clip length. Go to the chroma key. Make the offset negative 47, the edge thickness 0.00, the edge feather to 0.00. Click layer one and in motion tracking, go to link element and select the snapshot file. Now select the layer two image and adjust its scale and position. Select the layer two file and place it onto layer three. Select layer one, the second clip and duplicate it by using control plus C and then control plus V. Select that duplicate clip and place it onto layer two. Now repeat the same set of tracking which was done before. After that, we'll drag and drop the video clip onto layer four. Now go to Boris FX, then Stylize, then select BCC Cast Shadow and drag and drop it onto the layer four clip. Now go to the Effects tab on the right side. In the Image Plane option, go to Rotate Y, IP, and make it to 33.70 and position Z, IP, and make that 63.80. Now select layer three and four and place them one layer above and keep layer three empty. Select layer two and again duplicate it and place it onto layer three. Repeat all the steps again from tracking to applying BCC cast shadow. You can add as much video as you want just by repeating the same steps again and again. That's all for today. If you're interested in more visual effects and tutorials, check out filmora.wondershare.com.